Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. I am Gossip Unni, and in today's video I will be responding to your guys' wonderful unpopular K-pop opinions that you have left generously on my last video. So thank you for the people who did that. And for the ones who didn't. Ops you missed out. Haha <laughs> JK. Shall we kick into the video? Okay, our first opinion comes from second gen will always stay superior. They said, I have seen K-pop girl groups who have harder choreography and sing better than Blackpink, I had to say it. Now let me say something. I totally agree in some factors. Blackpink comeback for Dudu was underwhelming. Their dance was not choreographed to the T. It was not giving me the powerhouse that they are. But the MV was visual appealing, song catchy, rap was on fire. However the only thing that was lacking was the choreography. Blackpink undoubtedly has one of the best dances. Like look at Whistle Boom Ba Ya or even their latest comeback Kill This Love. Fantastic chorus. But I feel like the Duda Dudu comeback was a bit rushed even though they had one year to prepare. Ah uh, YG. Another factor singing. Um yeah I do agree that there are better or more stronger groups who are more skilled in the vocal category. This is because they are more vocal based group. Example Mamamoo. If you look at BP I would say they have a fair balance between vocal and rap. But little bit more rap. Since they are under YG Entertainment, who is known for its rap or hip-hop based genre. the time zone they said okay this is probably really unpopular but i like her the song by bts rather than tear i really like tear and i was obsessed with the song when it first came out but i dk it kinda grew out of me but i can never get tired of listening to her it's such an underrated bop and ngl tear had so many things going on that it got a little overwhelming and her is nice and soft also this video was really good you're so respectful to groups and fans Oh thank you so much. I am glad that you enjoyed the video. For me I like to look into both sides of the spectrum to fully decide where I stand. By doing this I am able to understand and respect both sides. While still standing with my decision. 100% agree with you. Tear is more hyped up, and upbeat it's one of those song where you would listen to when you want to release some stress or anger. Haha <laughs> I personally like songs that are more acoustic or laid back. Where the song hits you in your heart of. Love them. However I gotta say Tear really showcased their rap skills and Suga's vocal skills. I mean they can spit bars. Honestly they are not just a rap line. No no no. They are capital the rap line. And as for her. I love it. It's so smooth and sweet. At the beginning when the song starts with the piano playing. Ah uh, ah. Uh. I love it. And RM starts it with English. We woos looking for love yes I was. E just kidding. Overall this song is a bop. It has all the elements a song need. Like how can anyone not like this song. There is rap. There is vocals. There is meaning. There is visual. This is beauty in a song. Next one we have Sophia Vastra. She said. 1. Outro. Tear is one of BTS's best songs. Personally my favorite. I have to disagree with you, I am such a sucker for their old songs. Like Butterfly, Forever Young, Spring Day, 2-3, I Need You. OMG these songs and many of their previous old songs are ionic. Oh, they are just so good. These songs were what got me into BTS. Therefore has lots of value and meaning behind them. I listened to one of these songs, all the memories come flowing in. It's truly a masterpiece. 2. Blackpink shouldn't just have Teddy as their producer if he only produces like 2 slash 3 songs a year for them. Disclaimer, um, 
I don't really have any knowledge on how the egg entrainment runs. So I will just assume it works like this. I have to disagree. I think Teddy is one of the best producer. Time after time he just produces bops over bops. He truly is amazing. What I think is that he is ready to work his magic on BP, and like give them 20,000 songs, stacks. But what I think is that since BP doesn't get any comebacks, then Teddy doesn't have anything to work with. Plus if they did, the king, the boss, YG who basically runs 99% of the entertainment will probably have a say on how much songs should be on the mini albums. So I don't think it's Teddy's fault, it's YG's fault. Just take a look at bops Teddy has produced for other artists. CT, Dreamcatcher and Addies are some of the most well-rounded groups today in K-pop. For me a well-rounded group are groups that are at equally balanced in these categories singing, dancing and rapping. All these categories work together equally and make a perfect fit. Just because one group isn't well-rounded doesn't mean they are less talented. In fact each group has their own unique way of shining. I totally agree with you. I feel like NCT and Dreamcatcher are one of many well-rounded groups in pop currently. Since the concept of NCT is very broad and unique, with so many members, each member brings some things unique and different to the table, creating something fantastic. Each member excels in what they do, it just makes the group looks more rounded and balanced. I don't follow Dreamcatcher or Addies very closely. But with that saying I have seen some of their stage performances. And I gotta say, they have stage presence. For Dreamcatcher I had seen their cover of Big Bang, Bang Bang. And I was blown away, vocals on point, rap on point, dance on point. I was very impressed. These girls are insane talented. <laughs> Same goes for Addies, they have almost a NCT and Stray Kids vibe with their concept. They have extremely complex choreography, insane rappers plus vocals. I don't know, this could just be me but one of the member from Addies sounds so much like Taeyong from NCT. It's crazy, their rap style is very similar. Judge it for yourself and leave a comment if you think they do. I don't like it when people hate on an idol, for no reason, but I don't like it when they baby them. Like they're goddamn adults for God's sake. Yes. Preach. OMGGG. I honestly don't understand why people hate on other for no reason. And if you even have a reason why go to the utter more extent to express your hate on someone, while you can do something better with your life. I feel like the people who hate have insecurities, and no self-love. For these people, I wanna say, you are beautiful and unique in your special way. You don't have to spread hate to make yourself feel better. Cause all you're doing at the end of the day is not only ruining yourself but also the others. Therefore, I suggest you take a break and reflect on yourself and try loving yourself first. Haha <laughs> it cute when fans baby their idol, but to a limit. This babying to me is a fun joke. But then people go to the extreme and really see them as a freaking baby. And take this joke too far. In a re recent Jimin's V-Live, he accidentally bumped his head against the wall. It was low-key funny, because it was cute. 
But anyways there was a comment where a fan said they would literally destroy the wall cause their oppa bumped his head. I was like what? OMG, I couldn't believe it. They would actually destroy the wall cause Jimin bumped his head. The dedication is real. Haha. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 5. Searchlight from 7 o'clock is actually a masterpiece. I didn't know about 7 o'clock before, but I did check the song out, and honestly it's not bad. I feel like after some couple of listen I would be hooked. Haha, <laughs> you are my searching light. 6. If SM treated EXO properly, they could be ruling the seas right now, along with BTS. S. I totally agree. Oh my gosh. SM honestly did EXO so dirty. Their biggest mistake, giving EXO such a long break. If they didn't, EXO and BTS would honestly be the faces of K-pop currently. But SM being SM just had to come and basically ruin EXO. No I am not saying EXO isn't popular anymore, no no no. They still are, but they would have gotten even more recognition if SM didn't gave them a break. One of the biggest mistake a company can do is give idol group breaks, when they are almost reaching the point and established their name in this industry. Finally we have reached our destination. That is all for today my loves. I know tragic. Haha. <laughs> Anyways hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. And click the post notification, so you will be notified whenever I post a juicy video. Also if you want a shout out on my next video click on the post notification bell, and comment done. And you will be featured in my next video. Plus, I recently made an Instagram account, Gossip Honey. I am very very active there, so if you don't mind hit that follow button. As I will be posting lots of edits and extra fun things there. Until next time I will see you I see in my next video. Bye bye.